right, good morning everybody, welcome. It's a nice day outside, it is 9.30 in the morning, just finishing up my coffee. Oh, let's get up. Let's go set the coffee cup in the sink. Alrighty. <clears throat> Today, we need to go out and we need to, whoops, the door hit me open up our garage here oh beautiful day look at that oh right out the garage got a nice view the mountains in the back and this field right here ready to be harvested I cannot wait to get started so I need to catch a ride over to the store we um, have a new pickup ready for us and uh, I'm glad to be here in Westbridge Hills it's a nice area, nice community. Talked to a couple of people since we've been here. We moved in, got this house remodeled, got it set to my liking, and uh, got our farm built over back in that area. They just finished the barn, or the farm, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, we are ready to get this business started. So I'm going to head over to the store to pick up our new truck. Alright, so we made it to the store, and here's the pickup truck that we bought. Right here. TTHD flatbed. And I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way it turned out. The color I wanted was blue, and that's what they got me. So, there's that. And we also went ahead and ordered this fifth wheel low loader. Um, we can haul around a little bobcat and, you know, uh, stuff like that. We can haul around a hay, small tractor maybe even. We might be able to do it. So I just got here, and um, I noticed something in the back. We'll get to those at the front here in just a second. We'll look at those too, but I noticed this little guy back here. I like this. A little Fiat 1300. It's looking sharp. They, uh, the guy that drove me over here was telling me uh, about it just now in the parking lot, and uh, they completely restored it it is nice it's got the straight stack on there the straight exhaust pipe on there I like that got new lights new wheels new everything hood and all the windows and all the lights and nut tires on it are new look at the treads baby those will last a while I really like what they did with the color too we got it black and orange that looks pretty sharp I am gonna find out how much they want for that and I may end up leaving here with that today they also got the uh, Massey Ferguson here, the 3050. That don't look too bad. It's nothing I have to have or really want, unlike that one right there. I really like that way that looks. But we may check this one out too. This one, this one looks pretty good. I like it. But up front here, as you guys can see right there, look at that. They got the brand new John Deere 9RX. This thing right here is massive. I love it. I definitely need one of these for the farm. The 9470. Man, this thing is a beast. And they do have the 3 meter tracks on there. Look at that thing. This thing's a monster. I, I gotta get me one of these. We may have to work that into the budget one day. That is pretty sweet. But over here, they got the uh, John Deere 7R. The 7210. Got the front loader attachment on it. Something I will need. Got the twin wheels all around it. So, we're definitely probably going to get us one of those. I've uh, been looking in some catalogs what kind of uh, tractors I want to get for this new farm and this one was definitely one of them. The 7210. I like it. It's got the brush guard on the front too. That's pretty sweet. So we're going to run inside. I'm going to talk to him about that Fiat first. We may run home with that today and uh, we definitely got to get some new equipment so we will be back and forth between this place a lot. Probably today, because as you can see, I got some money to spend, so we need some tractors to get this farm going, so we will do that. And here's the New Holland T7. That's it's not bad, but I'm, you know, John Deere all the way, through and through. Love John Deere, and will continue to use John Deere. But this one wouldn't be a bad thing to have around the farm either. So, let's uh, run inside here and uh, talk to the guys, and let's get everything signed off. Let's see what we want to get for our new farm. Alright, so I just uh, signed off on all the papers. The truck is mine. The trailer is mine. And the Fiat is mine. I went ahead and bought it. 
I like it. Got the keys in my hand. We're going to get in this thing, crank it up, and we're going to pull it up to our trailer there. I believe we can pull this on there. We are soon to find out. Uh, so, and also, guys, I signed up for the 7210 over there. They are going to actually deliver that on their low boy over here. They are going to deliver that to the farm this afternoon. So let's hop up in here. All right, let's see here. Put the key in, turn it. Wow, there we go. Look at that. Sounds good. I mean, they refurbished the inside of this thing, too. This thing's, like, completely brand new inside. I like this. All right. So, let's put her in gear. There we go. And let's ease on up here to our trailer. Actually, we're going to park this right here. Stop. There we go. So, let's leave this running. Let her warm up a little bit. Look at that. Man, this thing is sweet. I like it. All right, so let's get in here. I gotta hook up the, the trailer and get everything hooked up so we can load that tractor up and get back to the farm. <laughs> and probably get online and order some more stuff. All right, drive, ease up. All righty. All right, let's see here. Man, nice interior, leather interior and all. I like it. This is nice, pretty sweet. All right, oh, too far. Alright, let's see here. We all hooked up. Lock in. Yep. We are locked in, ready to go. So, let me. Let me just angle this real quick. Get it lined up for our tractor there. Alright, let's see here. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, we can see. Alright. Unfold the ramps. Alright. And yeah. Alright. Here we go. Let's load this thing up. Line her up a little bit better. Alright, here we go. Easy does it. Easy does it. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see how this looks. Yep, looks about even, looks right. Whoa. All right, shut her off. Hop out. And tie her down, and we'll get out of here, guys. No, we got to So, down here to the right, guys, this is the, uh, here's the farm area right here. Whoa, slow down. We're not going to stop for that one, so we're going to go in this way. Easy. So this is our farm. The guys did a nice job building it, setting it up. Got a lot of storage space. A lot of room to maneuver around too. That's what I like. Like having room. So let's back her up right here. We'll open up this garage door and get her parked. All right, guys. Look what just pulled up. Uh, looks like. They are here with my 7R, so I will go over and talk to the driver and get this unloaded. And uh, I'm excited. Our tractor's here. All right, so the 7210 is unloaded and ready to be put up. Um, I just got off the phone with Jeff at the shop, and we're going to go and sit and talk with him and go over some uh, implements. I got to get a uh, cultivator. Got to get a plow and uh, Cedar first of all to get started so we're gonna go see what we can get from him and uh, he's gonna he is going to hook us up so for now we're going to park the 7210 here in the garage Hi. okay guys so I uh, just got done talking to Jeff here and um, we ordered a Borgo uh, 8 meter I think I think it's the eight meter direct seeder so I don't have to get a, a cultivator right now because we uh, got a direct drill so it's going to be pretty nice the uh, Borgo eight meter uh, seeder and it does have the uh, grain tank on the back so it's pretty nice I was talking to him too about these poster boards they got these huge boards they got set up in the showroom here um, and he was telling me a little backstory on that and they were trying to build this place with a big enough showroom to actually fit 
uh, tractors and implements and stuff in here, but uh, due to cost, they decided not to, and so they put poster boards up, which looks looks all right from the outside. Just when you get inside, and it's got those stands behind it. It's kind of funky looking, but yeah, it looks like a, a potato harvester. It looks like yeah. So, so anyways, we did order the uh, Borgo Direct Drill, eight meter cedar. And um, also we got some uh, fertilizing equipment coming, uh, fertilizer spreaders. And uh, I got a 6 meter John Deere plow as well on the way. He said they should be here tomorrow. So it's pretty quick because those two implements are not far away. So they have them coming in. Alright, so um, I had to go out of town to get it. Uh, just to the next town over though. It wasn't very far. But uh, we went and picked up a tipper. They didn't have one here at our store, but they had one at the town over, so I said, I'll go pick it up. And that's what we did. Got the Agro Liner. And uh, it's a pretty nice tipper. I, I love this tipper. Um, you can tip from the sides. These two doors right here open up, or you can tip from the back. So, uh, and this side tips too as well. Yeah, yep, yeah, that side tips too. So, we made it back into town. We're back here in our town. We are going to hop in our truck and I need to head back to the farm because I have some new equipment coming in today and it may already be there so you need to go see um, I know our uh, my uh, harvester the John Deere harvester got delivered this morning um, as I was leaving to go get this tipper so that is there at the farm now and uh, Apparently, the forage harvester and uh, the lime uh, fertilizer spreader is supposed to be there. So, you need to head back to the farm and check that out. Which way? Oh, am I in your way? Excuse me. Hey, don't you honk at me! Damn it! Rude, so rude. Impatient people. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, so let's see here. I think, uh, yeah. Go this way. <coughs> it's a beautiful day. I wish I could get started farming today, but it's already 4.18 in the afternoon. We are not going to have no time. Here we go. Oh, yep, yeah, look at there. The truck is there. So my equipment is there. So let's go up here and talk to this guy and get this stuff unloaded yep so here it is our John Deere forage harvester the 9700i it's a pretty cool machine very expensive one too I got it brand new uh, so yeah this is going to be sweet so we're gonna take this off the trailer here climb up here whoops don't jump up there climb up all right all right let's see here switch 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 switch, switch. there it is Oh, nice. So smooth, too. I like it. Very smooth. This thing is nice. Got all the screens. Buttons. I like buttons. I love having a tractor with a bunch of buttons in it. Oh, I'll go in here and just push them all. <laughs> all right. So, where are we going to put this? Let's see here. Let's get it off the trailer first. Try not to fall off the trailer. There we go. All right. I think... We'll put this over here. I got room over there with the um, with our harvester and the big warehouse over there, but let's see, will it fit? I think it'll fit. So for now, let's just put it right here in bay number two. All right, climb up. There we go. Can I see out the back? Kind of. Let's see here. Are we gonna fit? Oh, watch that pipe, watch that pipe. Is it going to work? Oh, just barely. Alright, let me see here. Let's hop out and check this out. Oh, yep, we are in there. Good deal. So, climb up here, watch your step. Alrighty, let's back it on up. And... There. Alright. Ooh, nice new stereo too. Look at that. All right. 
listen to some tunes while we do some foraging. Alright, so let's turn this off right here. There. There we go. Hop down. Very nice piece. We are pretty much done for the day bringing in stuff, so let's. Whoops. Let's close all these doors up. And we'll actually be in. be inside early tonight for some supper. Alright. Close that down. Is that clear? Yep, just did clear. Alright, cool. Alright, the lights are. The lights are off, right? Uh, yeah. Alrighty, so. Can you get out the door? Huh, I guess not. The door's jammed. We'll have to figure that out. Huh, door's jammed. Oh well. Alright, so I'll sign the paperwork for this guy and get him out of here and I will go inside and relax for the rest of the afternoon. Not much more we can do out here. So, alright, so I got everything locked down, it's 4.30, it's still early, god, alright, I can't get used to this, because this will not happen every day, uh, everything's shut down, locked down, um, everything's good to go, alrighty, let's get back to the house, I think this is going to turn out good for us, this is going to be a good farm here, um, going to be a nice area. A lot of the neighbors are nice. Uh, a lot of the town folk there in town are very polite people, very friendly and outgoing, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time here. I think we picked a good spot to uh, pick up farming, so it's going to be nice. Oh, I'm going to get out and open this gate. Wife locked the gate on me. Alright, so let's pull up in here. And boom. There we go. Got a little dirt on the truck today. That's good. We'll leave that gate open. That's fine. Go through here. We'll go through the garage and shut that. There we go. And welcome to my La Hacienda. Close that door. Very nice, nice house. They did a good job building this house. Got a great view. I mean, look, you just look out and just fields and money that's all you see is money very nice very nice i am pleased with what we got going on here so that's going to be it for me today guys i am going to make me something to eat here see what's in the fridge make something to eat sit down watch a little tv and uh we will see y'all bright and early in the morning have a nice night